So, one piece, 1120 reaction and we will react immediately. So, pretty good with Yamato Shan, getting help from Den Euro <laughs> or Kushiro then, has captured all the children that were attacking her last episode. Yeah. She's like, oh, no, 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 okay, you don't have to kill them all. It's like, no, what's happening? Yeah. Then, you know, it's like, I captured a bunch of evil kids. <laughs> like, it's a pretty good start, but here we go. More, I mean, of course, Vega Punk is still alive, right? Yeah, Vega Punk is still alive in the flashbacks. We need, like, just level leaves anyway 26 years ago punk has it so it has to be because before he beat egg hand islands on one year before they ruined it i implore you mega punk please use your research um hit study be a clover that's it yeah there is young clover uh, our research requires expertise okay yeah i can't leak to my findings because this is really, yeah, yeah, my giant brain and so on. Actually, really weird comment here. How many times have you been captured by now? So, honestly, this is one of the things that I, you know, actually, hey, immediately, guys, I think it is a big issue, right, in One Piece. And I know negative, no, but I don't want to sort of reaction negative here, but honestly, like, it is a big issue in One Piece. And I said it for two years now, I suppose, how Uda constantly undermines the government, right? I mean, the biggest issue in the one, the yeah, biggest issue, honestly, with the Kanika is how they make the Gorosai be very incompetent, right? The Gorosai is like a joke, right? And now here immediately, we see uh, Vega Punk talking to Clover. He is like, you should give it up, Clover. You've been arrested like 20 times already. You know, you've been captured by them. They, they, they're always capturing you. You stopped your research, right? And then, of course, we know later that they're going to go and assassinate Clover, right? Or, you know, Buster call him. And of course, you could argue and say that, well, the government didn't fear Clover that much or whatever. As you see in the other storyline with Nick and Robin's one, they basically have said that it's like an execution on everyone, right? Trying to research, you know, the Void Century. So how can then Clover be arrested many, many times and still escape every time? I mean, I'm oh, sorry, this doesn't make any sense. This is, I mean, this chapter, I suppose now, it's going to make Clover be bad or whatever, right? But at the same time, again, it just undermines the government. It's like, how, how, how did this guy escape every time? Right? He's not Kaido, you know what I mean? It's, it's, like, it's just silly. You know, I don't understand how he. There's no hoping to flush out your ally stand down. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense how Clover has escaped the government so many times. Then, like how? I want to use a man carried a D. He was my brother. Here we go. Clover's a D too. Everyone is a goddamn D, man. It's Clover D. Yeah, everyone is a goddamn D these days, man. So Clover somehow is also a D. His Unisha also a D. Uh, my real name is Cloudy Clover, but his name is like Cloudy Clover, yeah, like almost Clover, Clover D Clover, he's like, I'm black Clover, baby, we were only friends, um, okay, I like to say myself, okay, yeah, I can't accept we're a world where, yeah, because th my name is wrong, so, I was a D, man, everyone is a D, Vegapunk is like, oh no, he's a D clan, <laughs> everyone is a goddamn D, so when Vegapunk is like, my actual name is Vegapunk, D, Vegapunk, right, everyone is a, everyone is a D, and for some reason, Clover, even if it's a D, gets arrested over and over again and escapes it, but, um, Vegapunk is like, yes, I understand, you're a D after all, stay safe, D guy, yeah, the voices calls me for the puzzle. Okay, and now we're jumping four years here. Did you hear the news about the West Blue? Yeah, now they busted called them. So, I mean, yeah, how, why did they let, you know, D Clover escape all the time? Uh, oh, yeah, now Caesar is happy. He's like, Finally, Gangs of Castillo is back, yeah. God, I'm best character is back. My boy Caesar. Yeah, he's just like, you idiots. <laughs> they got what they deserve. He, of course, is funny that D, D, D Clover and Nico D Robin and so on. That they all, <laughs> you have most. <laughs> yeah, and then he, oh, God, no, no, no. Oh, this reminds me how he goes there now and he finds all the books in the water. Oh, that was so stupid. Oh, God, that was so stupid. <sighs> Aiken Island is constantly used. Oh, that's shitting on the government, yeah. Uh, Sour is alive, that's dumb, right? Clover got arrested a billion times and somehow escapes every time, doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And also that D also escaped that. So, so he was crying over his like dead br dead brother's body, and then they asked him, What's your name, boy? He's like, Oh, not D, okay, and he ignored him, like, doesn't make any sense. 
And now we have to also remember that Vegapunk will find the books in the water, right? Because the government, after the Buster Call, just didn't check the water, even though they saw them throwing the books into the water. They just ignored it. I mean, like every Clover flashback just makes the storyline worse. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's so much, it removes so much tension, right? That the Gore Sly and so on are completely pointless. Yeah, they're so terrible for the job. But anyway, you choose that where. What's passing on your research is important. Uh, Vegas is crying. Yeah. The voice of the past must call you. His story is writ written by the victors. Well, he's back and explaining this stuff, but yeah, of course, they skipped over what the deal was. Uh, and the words, and then we see uh, back to that Nico Robin place where she was at, like that br bridge thing. See Seth, and the words of the vanquish are usually cast into ocean. Then we send to again. Uh, yeah, yeah, Star's alive. Uh, for my part, I'm leaving. Is he finally gonna explain what the D is? It's not good, we can't, yeah. The old Kent Tower is coming after us, yeah, we have to jump, right? He's finally gonna bust her call. Well, yeah, Lil Lilith is smart. She, we can, I'm, I'm a calculator stuff here. She's the smart Vegapunk, yeah. <laughs> we can't jump. I'm a Vegapunk. You ever see her ass? Very nice. <laughs> the best thing we've said so far is that Lilith constantly butt shocks. <laughs> Every punch is like, well, yeah, at least Lilith has a lot of fan service. Yeah, that's the best part of this whole arc, man. You see Lilith bending over there. Yeah, very good, very good. Oh, Atlas is here. Atlas, Sean. She comes in here. And goes after the Kentaur. Okay, Atlas is like, yeah, you're gonna save Lilith. And then she's like, you make it out in one piece! <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, Atlas is like, I will fight the Kentaur, you escape in one piece. Like, okay, good, Atlas, good. She said it! She said a line! <laughs> like, atlas -shan is like, yeah, we're gonna escape in Lilith in one piece. Good, good. She said it, she said it. After a thousand... One time, someone finally said the word One Piece, yes. Uh, yeah. You gotta explain. She's gonna kill herself to fighting Kentaur. Gym based driving. Yeah, we gotta do it now before we have regrets, right? So they're finally gonna have to recoup the burst, right? Yeah. Right away, then she knocks over the Kentaur. Uh, yeah, she finally pushed him away. Her boots, the cook, the bursting, the broadcast. I'm praying this message has gifts. Yeah, so if you pray, instead of praying, could they make better signs that could have made it, could have saved recordings more plus one, one? Yeah, this a snake, a boar, and a giant robot. I kind of like the Marine's explanation there. It's like a snake and a boar and a robot fighting over there. Yeah, they're like, it's some kind of weird Godzilla fight over there. Yeah, it's like Mothra and a robot make a Godzilla. You're like, what's happening? Can you fighting? Yeah, they have. And Luffy likes it. Yeah, Luffy's like, Giant Roboto! Yeah, all the giants and Luffy, they love it. <laughs> so Frank is like, Giant Roboto! Uh, he's all like, Joy Boy! And Luffy looks. So Luffy still doesn't understand his Joy Boy. Robo's like, I'm here, I'm here! Okay, so the robot golem EM talks to Luffy. Luffy's like, what, I'm Joy Boy? <laughs> Okay, finally, I really have to be foolish to blindly trust in one side that I can't. I came like before. Yeah, but obviously Luffy can hear the, his voice, right? So Luffy can hear the voice of everything, so he can hear the golem's voice. So is he going alive then? It's kind of weird, but he can hear his voice, right? Yeah, like a, an animal, so. I can fight for you again, Joy Boy. You can talk, he's like, no, Luffy can hear. Luffy, you have the voice of all Luffy. Yeah, Luffy can hear everything. We must pound them. From Danger Joy Boy. Yeah. He was somebody protecting some guy Joy Boy, dude, yeah. And he call, kept calling me Joy Boy. But they, yeah, of course, I was like, we didn't hear anything, yeah. But honestly, so, this is one of the things that makes Vegapunk, I'm sorry, but this is one of the things that makes Vegapunk such an like, incredible dumb character, right? So, why couldn't Vegapunk have like, explain to Luffy what Joy Boy is, right? You know, why couldn't he make that his effort? Or why couldn't he explain what uh, voice of all is or whatever? Like, you know, he could have given you some advice that would be helpful, right, to the main character. Stuff like that that makes Vega Punk such a dumb character. You're like, he probably knows this stuff, right? He probably he knows who Joy Boy is. He obviously knows who Nika Nika is. 
We could have expanded a little bit, but he didn't do that shit. He could ignore that. Maybe you do it in the end of his pitch now, but it feels so weird. Um, yeah, so they're flying down here now. The giant snake is jumping up again. Jesus Christ, the snake is annoying. Kashing, yeah, he's gonna fight the golem though. <laughs> he's gonna fire his hand. Watch out, Roboto. <laughs> like a sound is also a yeah sound is like Roboto. <laughs> like yeah, the sound is also agree with Frankie and Luffy now. They're all like Roboto. You can do with Roboto. No Roboto. Yeah, you can't use his weapon anymore. The end the transmission. Here comes the giant spider. My God, this is never ends. This gorgeous. I know he jumps on the ship here. Why don't you sink him? You put him in the water. He drowns dead. Yeah, Kuman, tiny Bonnie is the one. And then suddenly, I guess Sun is gonna land on him probably. Sun is probably gonna land on the spider. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, we're going down. <laughs> yeah, Solar was like, I got this guy. Uh, here he comes. There's this fight after somebody here. But it's sad after they're dying here. No, I'm just landing a hand. Then she explodes or something. I don't know. Atlas is also a bomb or something. I don't know. I guess it's like a robot too. Right? She's like, I can also explode. So Atlas is like, yay, I got a nuke inside of my body or something. What? You know, it's a double spread. Okay, I want to say the last page here. 25 years ago, the pirate, Goldie Roger. Yeah. Okay, let's zoom in here. Achieved. Uh... To read achieved the unprecedented part, yeah. Getting through the globe, it only works because of you, right? Atlas, I have no doubt that they heard the whole thing. Atlas signal is gone, it finally happened. Yeah, the, I am the last Vega Punk. They're probably gonna destroy her as well. Now, guys, you can let to say far too much. Yeah, they're incredibly competent. The Gordon side, <laughs> yeah, incredibly competent. I am confident you all have come to s conclusion at this point, and I anticipate that, that you will ultimately determine how things transpire in the future. Yeah. He did say Goldie Roger. They must have read the vo heard the voice of all. They must, they must have heard the voice of the past from the different, from the purest source possible. Yeah, Joy Boy. This time you spoke of. Right, Joy Boy. This almost I think is terrible. I'm just gonna I mean I'm 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 just I'm hating now these days. But no, but this is just a nonsense, right? Uda has spent like basically a volume now just wasting time on Vegapunk. Because this again is just pointless bad pacing. Like Vegapunk is a filler character. I keep saying the last time I said again here. Vegapunk is the worst shit Uda's ever done. Because look at this chapter again, right? Uh, so what did, tell me, what did Vegapunk actually t say this chapter? Tell me, seriously, leave a comment below. What did Vegapunk actually tell us? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. He just told us what really knew. He was like, well, Roger found the source and he laughed or something. And he heard a voice or something. And, you know, conclusion or something. And I bet you the new people have a knowledge conclusion. But it doesn't mean anything. He's just iterating what we already know. What. It's just working very well. Nothing of value was whatsoever. The only thing that was valuable was before the speech, where we learned that Clover was a deer, right? But the actual speech again, complete field, right? So we're spending a page of seeing, like, I don't know, <sighs> reaction faces again, right? You know, of Steph or something, right? And then we keep seeing these bubbles of his, uh, you know, uh, speech here. And he's mentioning Goldie Roger, he's mentioning Joy Boy, and so on, right? But again, it doesn't mean anything. He's just such a pointless character. He's saying all this stuff, right? But again, it doesn't actually have any meaningful things for us the viewer because as a reader it's nothing new is being said here the vega pack is truly is the worst thing we've ever done and I, I don't keep saying it so i'm working record but it's the same thing in this chapter as well it's like but, but what was the point of this thing they didn't i'm genuinely reading each no each comment here being like uh -huh, roger find it he achieved the globe he went around i'm sure you heard the source of the truth roger or something right and then we see fake like Luffy or something or you know whatever I like it but your point it doesn't mean anything it doesn't say anything it's just repeating Vegapunk only repeats the storyline he's basically been repeating the exact same story bits right for like the last five six chapters now he's such a completely pointless character genuinely completely terrible I can't believe he was a copy of Vegapunk 
this I think easily this will be seen as the worst One Piece volume ever done now. Yeah, this whole volume. The last like ten plus chapter of Mega Punk. Um and as I said earlier, right, last year I believe it was, Humor's flashback is also poorly done, right? Yes, it's sad and it's well written, but it's on the same time it's poorly done because the execution, right, of Kuma's flashback is really bad. The actual storyline is good, but it's, it's but it's told again in an incredibly unnecessary slow pacing, right? Uh, and after that, then we have this part of Vegapunk. So, Eggman Island is is such a bad paced, and I mean Van already is incredibly bad paced, obviously. I mean that's everyone. It's kind of funny too because I mean everyone agrees. Um, Honestly, I find it really funny because everyone agrees, right, that Vano is just terribly, terribly paced. It's absurdly long. You can you can remove half the chapters, and people and it would be the same story. Like it's like incredibly bad actual executed arc, right? Aiken Island, that kind of ends here now, is also incredibly bad executed. It's even it's even worse. Yeah, Aiken Island is even worse pacing than Vano. The pacing is atrocious, right? Yet. People are gonna defend this specific Vega Punk beat. Oh, but it's poor for them. But the Vega Punk beat could have been said in one chapter instead of like 12 chapters. Yeah, it's incredibly badly paced. Again, another chapter where nothing is explained basically. Like, it just iterates the same thing all over again. Uh, and it's really funny in a sad way. People are coping, defending how, what Vega Punk is saying right now. Is, oh, it's important, blah, blah, blah. It's good pacing. No, it's terrible pacing. Just like Vano, the year after, next year. Everyone also look back and they say there's a terrible chapter. Yeah. Right, right now people are coping, but uh, trust me, in a year from now, I think everyone's gonna agree that Egg Island also is absolute shit, just like Vano was when it comes to pacing, because the pacing is just insanely bad here, even worse than Vano, right? But for some reason, people are currently defending it when it's currently happening. And Vano was the same way too. I think a lot of people just Vano had a lot of memes like Vano never ends the one. Vano hated those people, but still. Man, people were defending Vano while it was happening, and then afterward, I think Vano actually has been seen as worse and worse by the time has gone. Yeah, I think people have realized that even like rereading Vano right from the beginning, it's just an incredibly long arc, and it's so little thing happening, and you can remove so much of it. Like for example, the whole Big Mom Amicia, or Big Mom, so yeah, it's so much better stuff happening. And Aiken Island is the same thing. You could remove like two of the Vega Punks, so you can remove. This speech can be cut down by like 10 chapters and so on. It's just it's really, really strange. But honestly, the chapter, it was cool seeing the robot fight. Everything with the robot was great. Yeah, the robot is a good character. Uh, and of course, he and Luffy can communicate uh, by voice of all. Just like Luffy can talk to the Sunitsha and so on, right? So yeah, so he can have, so that's a very important thing. The Luffy has that chosen power. And I guess that's not related to actually being Nika Nika. That's just a thing he has, right? So, I mean, Luffy is really his chosen one, right? So, anyway, he's born with Congress Hockey and also this voice of all that Roger also had, right? So, it feels like you almost basically need to have the voice of all to also save the, the planet in that head, right? Because, whereas you can't communicate with all the different monsters or so on, yeah, or this giant stuff, Godzilla, whatever, you would need to have the voice of all for that, like Roger also had. I mean, otherwise, it doesn't seem you could actually do much with Golem and so on, right? Yeah, I don't think it's Nika written at all, right? Just like we saw earlier, he can hear the sea monsters and so on. It's like a joy head, obviously. So having the voice of all is maybe is the most important skill then. Uh, important bird power that animal can have, really, if you think about it. Um, so that's a... But, but honestly, I mean, we, we, we have we know that, yeah, Luffy has that, but... Uh, but of course, he calls him Joy Boy. But like I said earlier, I wish someone would explain to Luffy that you are Joy Boy. Yeah, like, you just tell him that. Um, what more happened? But Atlas, I guess, maybe died. I mean, that's the thing with One Piece, right? Atlas maybe died, but I don't know. <laughs> she might return next chapter, yeah, honestly. Uh, she, she saved Lilith, she could make some good ass there. Yeah, she rescued Lilith Buttocks, and then she might die, but who knows? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell if that actually matters. Uh, and also, I mean, honestly, finding out that Clover is a D, how does that matter? I mean, generally, it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> it didn't mean anything. It didn't mean anything. It's just like two pages of him saying, Oh, I'm a D. And then like, this goes on. Uh, Vegapunk, because Vegapunk skewed over telling us what D means, right? Yeah, of course he did. So I don't know what that means, but yeah, he's also a D. So that's just how it is. <laughs> but honestly, I was like, yeah, he's a D too. Like, whatever. And then if you didn't get subscribe, press the like button and have a great day.